It is just the one of the International Scientific Conference on Nodding Disease. Many countries that are affected, especially Uganda, South Sudan and Tanzania, have come here to ask questions to the scientists in the house. They want answers. You find that countries like Tanzania do not even recognize the existence of this disease, yet it was first documented in their country. In 1962, but there is nothing going on. There are patients there. We treat them as epileptic patients. She, however, agrees that the over 50 patients in Mahenge area in Ulanga district, Morogoro region, present with the same features as Uganda's and South Sudan's nodding syndrome patients. There is no definition of nodding disease until now. So, Tanzania's government has not highlighted the issue, and such is the gravity of this debilitating syndrome, which some scientists have admitted has been the most neglected of all the neglected tropical diseases, diseases of poverty. Nothing syndrome, therefore, has the potential to derail the effort to achieve both the Millennium Development Goals 1 and 4 that tackle poverty and the child health. The South Sudan government, however, has recognized the gravity of nodding syndrome and estimates that 60,000 children from four federal states are afflicted. Very little attention it was given to, to the nodding syndrome, but we know it's a big problem, it's a public health issue. All that the doctors are doing is use a combination of drugs to treat a disease which leaves the afflicted malnourished with stunted growth, brain retardation, uncontrollable drooling and late sexual development, among other debilitating effects. Of the countries most afflicted, it appears Uganda is more on the road to success with established screening and treatment centers in the three most affected districts of Kitgum, Pade and Lamu. When we manage these children accordingly, they improve. So that is a very strong point. On the list of possibilities for causing the syndrome are still things like onchocerciasis infection, a disease caused by a parasite carried by the black fly. It's a good clue for us. It doesn't tell us that onchocerciasis causes nodding syndrome, but it's worth investigating further. Vitamin B6 deficiency is also cited as the most common in nodding cases and controls. Low vitamin B6 in a rare circumstances can be associated with seizures intractable seizures, very difficult to treat. And so that provides us some hope that if high doses of vitamin B6 are provided, perhaps that will help these children. A new trial by the CDC in the coming few months will test the effectiveness of vitamin B6 and anti-epileptic drugs to help determine the best treatment for nodding syndrome. Already there are fears of new instances emerging in all the countries. In Uganda, up to seven districts now have confirmed cases with the highest burden in Kitgum, Padel and Lamu. Over 3,000 cases have been reported and 200 deaths registered. Florence Nalimba, NTV.